السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اوکے وی آر اسٹارٹنگ سورہ عال عمران فرام آئی نمبر ون تھرٹی فائیو آن ورڈس لاسٹ ٹائم وی فنشڈ ایٹ آئی نمبر ون تھرٹی فور اوکے لیٹ اسٹارٹ السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ نحمد و نسلی اللہ رسول کریم اما بعد فاؤز باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ربی شاہلی صدری و یسیلی عمری واہل العبدم بل لسانی یف و خولی ربی زدنا علما امین یا رب العالمین اوکے اوا سورہ از آل عمران جز از فور بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم جز فور سو لاسٹ ٹائم وی ڈیڈ وی ریڈ آیا ون تھرٹی تھری ون تھرٹی فور وی لرن ان دیز ٹو آیا اللہ سوان اللہ سیز اینڈ مارچ فورتھ ان دا وے وچ لیز ٹو فگیونیس فرام یور لارڈ and for paradise as wide as the heavens and the earth prepared for the muttaqin the pious may allah make them among the uh, people of jannah uh, and ayah 34 we learn alladina yunfiquna fi sarai wa darai the characteristics of the people of jannah what they do alladina yunfiquna fi sarai wa darai wal kadibin al ghaida wal afina anin nas wallahu yuhibb al muhsinin those who spend in allah's cause in prosperity and in adversity who repress anger and who pardon men verily allah loves the muhsinin the good doers uh, and uh, there we learn a hadith also uh, in which it is said uh, i swear regarding prophet sallam said i swear regarding three matters no charity shall ever decrease the wealth whenever one forgives people then allah will magnify his honor so we should always forgive people because our level will be our allah will you know um magnify our uh, honor and he who is humble for allah then allah will raise his rank and so now we'll start from ayah number uh, 135 or what to a translation uh, first we will listen to the recitation of I have one thirty-five and I have one thirty-six. Inshallah. so we listen to the recitation of i135 136 now we'll start with i135 what to what translation inshallah uh starting from i135 what to what translation souls hum them them is a pronoun dakaru they mention remembered they mention remember allah allah fastaghfiru 
then astafaru they uh, they ask uh, sought forgiveness they ask they sought forgiveness li dunu bihim li for dunu dunu is the plural of them dunu since him there li dunu bihim for their sins were and man who yaghfiru he forgives azunuba the sins Zunub is the plural of them. Illa except Allahu, Allah were and lam did not. You see, do they persist? Allah upon ma what faalu they did. Wahum were were while hum they yalamun they know. So running translation, inshallah. Walladina iza faalu faishatan and who uh, people uh, okay uh, who uh, if they commit any indecency any sh shameful act or wrong their own souls earnestly remember allah and seek forgiveness for their sins for no one can forgive sins except allah and those who do not knowingly persist in something wrong which they have done such people will be rewarded with forgiveness. Oh, that is the next ayah. Okay. So here we learn, uh, Allah SWT says, Walladzina iza fa'alu fahishatan. And those people, when they commit fahisha. Okay. So what is fahisha? Uh, let me, please mute yourself. Sister, please mute yourself. Anyhow, I muted. Okay. Okay. So, uh, for what is Faisha? Well, Ladina is a Fa'alu Faishatan. Faisha is an indecent action and it is also used for major sin. Like everybody knows what are the major sins like Zina, Shirk, homosexuality, backbiting, etc., etc. But basically, it is an evil action which affects others. Uh, affects the sinner. It is considered evil, bad by the intellect, by the society, and also by the religion. So, zina, share, homosexuality, backbiting, it is considered evil. It is considered bad by whom? By the intellect. It is considered evil by the society. It is considered evil and bad by the religion also. Or, and then Allah says, Aw zalamu an fusahum. Or they do wrong on themselves. Zalamu, zulm. Zulam mean. Uh, zulm is injustice. Meaning wronging yourself is committing a sin. Over here, sin refers to slightly lesser degree compared to Faisha. So here two, two things are, you know, uh, said. Faisha and zalam, Zalamu. So over here, sin refers to slightly lesser degree compared to Faisha. So why it is called dhulm against oneself? Because when we sin, we are presenting ourselves for punishment. We are offering ourselves to hellfire. Dhulm is done by committing that which Allah has forbidden, leaving that which Allah has commanded. Dhulm is in relation with Allah and also in, is in relation with his creation. When we disobey Allah and we mistreat others, this is in reality harming ourselves. Okay, so when they make a mistake, is a falu or one for some. So when they make a mistake, when they commit something seriously wrong, or they do zulm, they do injustice against themselves, then what happens? So they Takarullah, they remember Allah. Who who remember Allah? Those who have taqwa, those who are Allah conscious, those who are scared, those who are scared of Allah. Because one who has taqwa is mindful of Allah. He will rush for forgiveness. He will rush in performing good deeds. So what Allah says, Fastaq um, firuli zunubin. They seek forgiveness for their sins, and uh, dhikr is done when the heart, with the heart. 
with the tongue and also by the limbs. Zakarullah, okay? They remember Allah. So zikr is done by the heart, by the tongue, and also by the limbs. Remembering Allah with their heart. They remember Allah's greatness. They remember uh, Allah's rewards. They remember the punishment and warnings. And this leads to running towards seeking Allah's forgiveness. So when you remember that Allah knows that I have done this wrong action, because Allah knows everything. And I know that this action is haram. I know that there is punishment for this in the hereafter. I know I am guilty. Then this realization will lead a person to seeking forgiveness. So remembering Allah by the tongue, for example, a person says something in which he is the remembrance of Allah, like saying, La ilaha illallah, like saying, uh, Astaghfirullah, Oh Allah, I seek, forg I seek forgiveness from Allah. When you say Astaghfirullah, you remember your sins, right? Remembering Allah by action, they do that which is a means of expiation for sins. There is a hadith, the, uh, the gist of the hadith is, uh, Prophet said, charity extinguishes the sins like water extinguishes fire. So always, you know, give some donation, some charity because uh, it extinguishes the sins. Then Allah says uh, in this ayah, Allah says, وَمَنْ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ And who, see the second line, uh, this third line, and who can forgive sins but Allah? Uh, so وَمَنْ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ Dunub is the plural of dumb, right? Dumb. So Allah says, people can forgive, uh, who, who can, uh, and none can forgive sins but Allah. So people can forgive for the wrong you did towards them, but not for other sins. Like not praying salah, and only Allah can forgive all sins. And they do not, uh, and Allah further says, وَلَمْ يُسِرُ أَلَا مَا فَعَلُوا وَهُمْ يَعْلَمُونَ And they do not persist remain upon what they have done while they know. So, yusiru. So, yusiru, the root word is swad, raw, to remain constant on something, to remain firm on something. Once they know, they realize that the action is wrong, then they do not remain constant on that sin. Rather, they leave it. They seek Allah's forgiveness. For such people, there is Allah's forgiveness. In the beginning of the Quran, everybody knows we learn about Maghdub Alayhi. Those who anger Allah, they are those who deliberately do wrong, who know that something is wrong. They have the knowledge, but still they do it anyway. For such people, there is no forgiveness. Maghdub Alayhi. You read in Surah Al Fatiha. Forgiveness is for the one who, upon realization that he is doing something wrong, and when he leaves it, he asks Allah to forgive him and Allah will forgive him. It is possible you did something wrong, you seek forgiveness and after some time you do the same mistake again. It is possible, but every time you realize you stop it and you beg Allah's forgiveness, right? Uh, log ho jau, log. Huh? Log ho jau. So, uh, we see uh, it is possible you did something wrong, you seek forgiveness, and after some time you do the same mistake again. It is possible, but every time you realize, you stop it and you beg Allah's forgiveness. A person committed a sin and he said, Oh Allah, forgive me. And Allah forgave him. And after some time, that person committed the same sin and he said, Oh Allah, forgive me. And Allah forgave him. And after some time, the same person committed the same mistake and he said, Oh Allah, forgive me and Allah forgave him. This happened many times and Allah said, Oh, so merciful Allah, subhanAllah. Allah said, My servant knows that he has a Lord who forgives, so I forgive him. It doesn't mean that at the time of seeking forgiveness, that person has that feeling of treachery. Like now, let me say, Astaghfirullah. But I like doing this sin and I am going to do it again. 
This is not seeking forgiveness. A person should seek forgiveness sincerely, but because human humans are weak, it is possible that he ends up in the same in the in the same mess again. But later he get out of that mess again. Don't stay there. Keep coming out. And as long as you are coming out, you are struggling. As long you are uh, coming out of the sins means you are struggling. You are striving to get better. Allah's forgiveness is always there. Allah always forgives the servant. So what lesson we learn? Even a muttaqi person is not free of committing sin. In Hadith Qudsi, Allah says, all the children of Adam are sinful. They make mistakes. But the best of those who make mistakes are those who seek forgiveness. So always seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Prophet Sassam said, by the one, by the one uh, who has my soul in his hand, if you are not to sin, then Allah would remove you and would bring another nation who sins and when and who then seeks forgiveness from Allah and Allah will forgive them. So we learn Allah loves to forgive. People make mistakes and we should also forgive. Always forgive people. Remembrance of Allah leads a person to seeking forgiveness. So always, you know, remember Allah, do zikr, astaghfirullah, any zikr, tat kalma, fourth kalma, la ilaha illa anta, subhanaka, inni you know, you know, all the askar. So, you know, remembrance of Allah also leads a person to seeking forgiveness. Oh, and remember, only Allah is the one who forgives sins. And Satan said, by your might, O Lord, I will go on tempting your servants as long as their souls are still in their bodies. So remember, Satan is our eternal enemy. Allah said, by my might and majesty, I will keep forgiving them as long as they keep invoking me for forgiveness. So always invoke Allah and for forgiveness whenever you do a mistake. A person should not persist upon a sin knowingly when he realizes uh, or truncated by WhatsApp or social media. A person should not persist upon a sin knowingly when he realizes it. He should leave it. Okay? Okay. So, Walladina is a falu the our ayah. Walladina is a falu faishatan or zalamu and fosahum and those who when they have committed faisha. And I told you, Faisha, what is Faisha? Doing shirk, zina, uh, you know, these sort of type of sins of Faisha. So, Walazina is a falu Faisha. Au zalamu, or wrong themselves. Au um, zalamu and fosahum. With evil. Zakarullah, fastaghfiru li zunubim. They remember Allah and ask forgiveness for their sins. Therefore, if they commit an error, they follow it with repentance and ask forgiveness. So uh, we see a, a, a hadith from, the narration is from Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu. Abu Huraira says a hadith from Prophet Sallallahu that a man once committed an error and he said, Oh Lord, I committed an error, so forgive me. Allah said, my servant committed an error and knew that he has a Lord who forgives or punishes for the error. So Allah said, I have forg forgiven my servant. The man committed another error and said, O oh Lord, I committed an error, so forgive me. Allah said, my servant knew that he has a Lord who forgives or punishes for the sin. I have forgiven my servant. The man committed another error and said, Oh Lord, I committed an error, so forgive me. Uh, Allah said, My servant knew that he has a Lord who forgives or punishes for the error. I have forgiven my servant. He then committed another error and said, Oh Lord, I committed an error, so forgive me. Allah said, My servant knew that he has a Lord who forgives or punishes for the error. Bear witness that I have forgiven my servant. So let him do whatever he likes. So always remember Allah is so merciful. Allah always forgives him. 
forgives the sin. So it doesn't mean that, you know, uh, Allah is so forgiveful. So, uh, you know, I should do sin upon sin, sin upon sin. Every time say, oh, Allah, forgive me, Allah, forgive me. No, we should be mindful of not doing sins. So there's a, a similar narration uh, in, in Al-Sahih, uh, narrated by Anas bin Malik. Uh, he says, Anas bin Malik said, I was told that when the ayah of Al-Lazina is a fa'idha fa'alu fa'ishatan aw dhalamu anfusahum dhakarullah fa'astaghfirullah li dhunubihim. Who, uh, when they have committed fa'isha or wrong themselves with evil, remember Allah, and ask forgiveness for their sins was revealed. Iblis, Satan cried. See, Satan cried. Because uh, when he came to know that Allah forgives the sins, so he, because uh, he, when Allah asked him to prostrate uh, Adam alayhi salam, uh, he, he said, no, I'm not going to prostrate because I'm better than Adam. So, and he was, you know, rejected. So he cried on this ayah. So, uh, so Allah says, and none can forgive sins means that none except Allah forgives sins. Only Allah can forgive the sin. And then further we see in the ayah, Allah says, um, Allah says, uh, and do not persist in what wrong they have done while they know. For they repent for their error, return to Allah before that, uh, return to Allah before death, do not insist on error, and if they err again, they repent from it. And Allah said, Ya, Wahum Ya Lamun, while they know. So, uh, Mujahid and Abdullah bin Ubaid bin Umar uh, commented, Whoever repents, then Allah will forgive him. Similarly, Allah said, uh, in chapter 9, uh, ayah number 104, Alam Know they not that Allah accepts repentance from his servant. And uh, Allah says, um, And whoever does evil or wrongs himself, but afterwards seeks Allah's forgiveness, he will find Allah of forgiving most merciful. SubhanAllah, Allah is of forgiving and is most merciful. And uh, we see there are several examples similar to this ayah. So that the next ayah we do, inshallah. Uh, Allah says, what to what translation? Ulaika those jazauhum, jaza, recompense whom, them, them is a pronoun. Jazaum, their mm. recompense, makfiratun is forgiveness, min from Rabbim, Rab, sustainer, him, their, Rabbim, their, Rab, sustainer, Vajannatun, Va, and Jannatun, gardens, uh, Tajri, it, she flows, runs, um, min from Tahtiha, underneath it, her. Okay, Tamina, can you tell us the grammar why Tateha is Ha Alif Fataha? Why there is Alif? Tamina, can you hear me? Yes, Tamina. Min Tahtiha. Why Ha Alif Fataha? It's a grammar point. Tamina, can you hear me? Yes, Tamina. It's because it's. Uh, um, feminine. That's why it's Hali Fatah. Al Anhar, the reverse, plural of Nahar, Khalidina, one abiding forever, eternally, Fiha, Fi in Ha, it, Vanema, Va, and Nema, how good it is, Ajru, a, a wage, a reward, Al Amilin, those who do work. Those who are Amil, those who do work. Okay, we see the uh, what to, uh, running translation, inshallah. Ulaika jazaum maqfiratun. Such people will be rewarded with forgiveness from their Rab plus gardens beneath which rivers flow to live therein forever. How ex excellent is the reward for such laborers? 
those who do work, those who are amilin. May Allah bestow us Jannatul Firdaus and may Allah make us among them. Okay. So here we see I-136. Ulaika jazaum maghfiratum min rabbihim. Those people, their recompense is forgiveness from their Lord. Okay. A big mistake happened at Ohad. Everybody knows that at the Battle of Ohad, uh, they didn't obey Prophet Sallallahu Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi told them not to leave the hillock. And when they saw that uh, we are con we are about to we are conquering the battle, uh, so they left that hillock and they came down. A big mistake happened at Ohad, and the victory changed into the defeat. So there was a big mistake. They, dis, uh, they didn't obey the Prophet and they left the hillock. A big mistake happened at the Battle of Earth. But if you repent, you rush towards goodness, you remember Allah, then their reward is forgiveness from their Lord. Jazaahum maghfiratum mirabim wa jannatun tajri min tahtihal anharu khalidina fiha and gardens underneath which rivers flow abiding therein eternally and how vanema ajul amilin and how excellent is the reward of the workers reward is for those who do amal those who do good deed okay how excellent is this reward for the doers of good controlling your anger is not easy spending in times of difficulty is not easy forgiving other people is very difficult this is why Allah has prepared an excellent reward for those who do amal. So control your anger because it is not easy. Spend in times of difficulty where when you don't have job, you are not earning. Then also, you know, just put a single or, you know, a coins in uh, spending in donations box in masjid or anywhere or to give to the needy. So in times of difficulties, it's not easy to spend. So spend at that time. Forgiving other people is very difficult. So always forgive other people. This is why Allah has prepared an excellent reward for those who do these sorts of amal. When the, to do amal, to do good deeds is difficult. So for those person is uh, Jannah and Maghfira. Uh, in the Quran, Allah says the reward for Ihsan is anything but Ihsan. Hal jaza ul Ihsan illa al Ihsan. If you do good, you do good for yourself. No, no one other, no one else is going to be benefited. We ourselves are going to be benefited if we do good. The people of Jannah, they will be told all of the rewards that you see is your reward and your effort is much appreciated by Allah. Allah always appreciate our efforts and Allah always give the rewards and it will be told in Jannah. Okay. So we see. Um, um okay uh ulaika jaza jaza um mafirtum min rabbihim for such the reward is forgiveness from the lord as a reward for these qualities uh which we read mafiratum min rabbihim wa jannatun tajri min tahti al anar forgiveness from the lord and gardens with rivers flowing underneath paradise carrying all kinds of drinks, okay? Khalidi nafiha, wherein they shall abide forever and ever. Vanema ajdul amilin, how excellent is this reward for the doers? Allah praises paradise in this part of the ayah. Okay, then we see ayah number 137, inshallah, what to what translation? Qad, in fact, in fact, khalat. It she passed men from Kablikum. Kabl is before Kum you all. Kablikum before you all. Sunanun ways method. We learn what is Sunanun, okay? Uh, sunanun is the plural of Sunna, right? Fasiru, Faso, Siru, you all travel. Fi in Al Ardi, the land, earth. Panzuru, Faso, Anzuru, you all see, look, Kaifa, how, Kana, it was, Akibatu, outcome, and consequence, Al Mukadibin, of those who be lied, 
al mukazibin is the plural of mukazib okay okay uh, we'll see the uh, running translation okay within the lines only okay qad khalat min qablikum sunanun as for those who rejected the, the uh, divine relation, there have been many examples before you travel through the earth and see what was the end of those who rejected the truth. Okay, we'll see inshallah. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I number 137, Qad min So one way after making a mistake is that we... Uh, we journey back to Allah seeking his forgiveness. The other way is persisting on sins and not repenting. So Allah warns us, uh, uh, many sunan have passed before you. Qad khalat min qablikum sunanun. Many sunan have passed before you. Sunan is the plural of sunnah and the word is used in many ways. Okay, this sunanun is used in many ways and it, it also gives the meaning of nation. Sunanun means the meaning of nation and also give the meanings of practice and the usual norm. So uh, I will repeat again. Sunanun. Sunan is the plural of sunnah. And this word sunanun, sunanun is used in many ways. It, is, it also gives the meanings of nation. Sunanun also is the meaning of nation and it's also meaning of practice, uh, the usual norm. So, so many culture, many civilizations, many nations have passed before you. Kat khalat min qablikum sunanun. So many culture, many civilization, many nations have passed before you who had their own respective ways and practices. Okay. Fasiru fil earth. So travel through the earth. Okay. Siru. Sara yasiru siru. Siru. Uh, okay. You want to go? go. Okay, be careful, you may not drop my I laptop, okay? And shut the door, okay? So we, we shouldn't be disturbed. Okay, shut the door. Okay, shut the door. Okay, sorry. How's will I measure on it again? This little boy, my grandson. Astaghfirullah. <laughs> okay. Sara yasiru siru. How's will I measure on Siru. Seen raya is the root word meaning travel. Fasi ru feel earth. So travel through the earth. Travel is done in two ways, okay? Traveling with the feet, meaning physically going somewhere, like in your home, at your home, in your classroom, you travel on your feet, physically go from, you know, one corner to other corner. Number two, the second way, the journey of the hearts, reflection, learning and reading about a place, people, uh, that, like Quran is the journey of the heart. We reflect, we learn, we read read about the places, about the people, how they were punished, about the nation, uh, nation of Art, Sumud, nation of Shoaib alayhi salam, uh, the Bani Israel, nation of uh, Musa alayhi salam, Isa alayhi salam. So Allah says, travel through the earth, fasi rufil earth, and, and uh, read about them, find out about the people of the past, okay? Uh, so look, First, fun zuru. So look, kaifa kana akibatul mukaddibin. How was the end? How was the consequences of the deniers? Al mukaddibin. Kis kaf zal ba. Kis to deny. Okay. So look, how was the end? How was the akiba? How was the consequences of the mukaddibin of the deniers? Those who did not seek Allah's forgiveness after committing wrong. How did they end up? Okay. If you go through the earth, you will see so many people came to the earth, but they had to leave. Nobody remains on the earth forever. Like we go to uh, Cairo or Egypt, we see the dead body of Pharaoh. And there are many, many places, you know, you see, you know, the remains of these, you know, um, our, uh, nation of Art, Sumud. Uh, you see the place destroyed places and they were punished we can see all these places when we uh, go through the earth and there were many nations who were destroyed for the sins that they committed and their stories are not unknown to us it is in Quran also and history also tell us and we go and visit those places also so it's a warning that you are also here in this world temporarily 
soon you will be leaving. And what happened at the Battle of Badr? Everybody knows those who denied, those who rejected, who were they? The Mushrikeen of Makkah. Even thousand full people, fully equipped men, they could not save them, save themselves from the punishment of Allah. Seventy of them were killed. Uh, Seventeen Mushrikeen of Makkah, and seventy were taken as prisoners. Everybody know we read about uh, Battle of Badr, right? So, uh, one thirty-seven. We were. You know, during the tafsir, so uh, this I want to say the wisdom behind the losses Muslims suffered during a uh, battle of Ohad. Allah states to his believing servants who suffered losses in the battle of Ohad, including 70 dead. Kat khalat min qablikum sunanun. So now you know the meaning of sunanun, right? It's a uh, uh, plural of sunnah, and uh, sunanun, I told you. Sunan, uh, and the, uh, it is uh, this word is used in many ways. It is also it uh, also gives the meaning of nation, and also gives the meanings of practice, the usual norm. Okay, okay. So uh, here Allah says, "Qad khalat min qablikum sunanun." Many similar ways and mishap of life were faced before you. For the previous nations who followed their prophets before you, they too suffered losses. However, the good end was theirs and the ultimate defeat was for the disbelievers. This is why Allah said, So travel to the earth and see what was the end, what were, were the consequences of those who denied. So now the next ayah we'll see on ayah 138, inshallah. What to what translation? Haza, this. Bayanun is a statement, clear, explicit. Lin nasi li for anas, the people, the mankind, were and hudan, a guidance, wa mau izatun, were and mau izatun, an admonition, instruction, advice. Lil Muttaqeen, Li for Al Muttaqeen, those who adopt Taqwa, Allah consciousness, uh, safeguard themselves. Now, running uh, translation. Yeah. Haza Bayanun Lin Haza Bayanun Lin Nasi. This is this, the Quran is a clear declaration to mankind a guidance and admonition to those who fear Allah. So here Allah says, Ayah 138, this is, this is a plain statement. This is a clear message to the people. Has a bayanun linnasi. This is a clear message to the people. Bayan. Has a bayanun. Bayan is something that is clear in itself. Okay. To which people? To all people, meaning the Quran is a clear message to all the people because Annas, Annas means all the people. This invitation to seek forgiveness from Allah, repenting from your mistakes is a clear message from Allah. Wa hudan and a guidance. Wa mau is a tul lil muttaqeen and an instruction for the muttaqeen. Wa mau is a tun and instruction. But for whom? Uh, lil muttaqin for those who have taqwa this is a plain statement for mankind a guidance and instruction for whom for those who have taqwa those who are muttaqi in the quran there is a clear message for the people all people can understand but who will be getting guidance who will accept the invitation who will bring a change in his life so we have to accept the invitation uh, then we'll get the guidance and we have to bring a change in our life. Whatever we were doing in the past, we are not going to do that. All the sins or un unlawful things. And we have to, now as a student of Quran, we have to bring change in our life. We have to pass our life according to the Quran and Sunnah. Uh, whatever command Allah has given us, we have to abide by that. Whatever Allah prohibits, we have to refrain from that. The one who has taqwa, Everybody will find out that Allah forgives sin, but does everyone seek forgiveness? So we have to seek forgiveness also. Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, rabbi min kulli zambin wa We have done many stifarat, okay? And we have done the, um, 
uh, uh, this uh, Sayyidul Istifar also, uh, and try to memorize that. Everybody will find out that you should not persist on sins, but will everyone leave sins? This is the question for us. Not necessarily. It is the only. It is the. It is the only. The people of Taqwa will accept the advice. That is the last part for me. Please mute yourself. Please mute yourself, sisters. Mute yourself. We are getting disturbed. Okay. Anyways, I muted. I muted. Okay. So uh, we see. Um, uh, so travel through the earth and see what was the end of those who denied. This was the previous ayah. Now this ayah, Allah says, "Haza bayanun linnas." This is a plain statement for mankind, meaning the Quran explains the true reality of things and narrates how the previous nations suffered by the hands of their enemies. Wa hudan wa mauizatun hudan and a guidance. Wa mauizatun and instruction. Whenever you uh, buy a machine, what you do? Uh, first, you see the instruction manual, okay? Then you operate the machine, right? So, more as a tune, so all the instructions and guidance are there in this Quran. For the Quran con contains the news of the past and hudan guidance for your hearts. For more is a tulil muttaqeen and instruction for the muttaqeen to discourage committing the prohibited and forbidden matters. So, we have to abide by what? whatever the commands Allah has ordered in this Quran, and we have to refrain from whatever Allah has prohibited, uh, prohibited us, uh, meaning the forbidden matters. Okay, now the next ayah, 139, inshallah. But to what translation first, inshallah, we'll do. Okay. Voila. Now, this is very, you know, there are many lessons to learn in this ayah. Be attentive. I know everybody is attentive. I know that. Okay. So there are great lessons to learn, inshallah. Okay. Wala wa and la do not tahinu. You all be uh, you, you all be weak, lose heart. Wa and la do not tahzanu. Ta you ahzanu. Be sad, grieve. Wala tahzanu. Do not you all be sad, be grieve. Wa antum wa and antum you all. Al alun uh, only are those uh, who are superior, highest, exalted. Al alun in if kuntum uh, you all were are mu'minin ones who believe. So running translation: Wala tahinu, wala tahzanu. Do not grieve and get disheartened. Disheartened, for you will have the upper hand if you are the believers. Okay. Great lessons to learn in this ayah. Uh, ayah number 139, then Allah uh, advised the believers. This is the advice from Allah to the believers, to us. Uh, wala, uh, Allah says, wala, um, wala tahinu. Okay? Wala tahinu. Uh, then Allah advised the believers and do not feel weak. Yes, you have experienced a great loss, but do not feel weak. Tahinu. Where was the great loss? In Battle of Ohad. Tahinu. Tahinu. Uh, the root word is Vau Hanun. Vahan. Vau Hanun is the root word. Vahan is basically weakness. When a, what happens when you are weak? When a person, uh, listen carefully. When a person feels weak and lazy, doesn't find the confidence, when you feel weak, you feel lazy, you lose the confidence, right? And when a person feels weak and lazy, doesn't find confidence, doesn't find the drive to do something that is important, so do not feel weak in facing the enemy again because they had a defeat in battle of Earth, the Muslims. So when you when you fall in something, you don't know, and this is a lesson for us also. When you fall in something, you don't want to do it again, it is too embarrassing, too frustrating to face that again. But Allah says, so what if you failed once? So what if you had a bad experience once? Get up and try again. Do not become weak. So what we learn? If we are defeated, if we failed somewhere in some exam or in you know some business, 
at workplace or in school anyway anywhere you are failed anyways a property loss or a, uh, no if somebody died in the family uh, like parents or anybody so uh, or you have had a bad experience and uh, you have failed in something so what to do don't do not become weak and don't be too sad when you have suffered a loss then you are too sad wahan is something wala tahinu wahan wahan is something that prevents you from going forward and wala tahazanu ha zai nun huzun and huzun grief is something that keeps you stuck in your past you always thinking of past oh alas i wouldn't have done this i wouldn't have done that i if i would have done this i wouldn't have been failed i would have earned a lot of profit if i wouldn't have sold my property at that time that was the recession time the economy was down this that you know so never you know uh, uh, stuck in your past it was your faith so and, and never grieve on the those things uh, you and you must have uh, you must know the you, you all know the idiom there is no uh, use crying over spilt milk right so and huzan grief is something that keeps you stuck in your past and these two things wala tahinu wala tahazanu theek okay wahan and huzun okay these two things um, becoming weak and sad tahinu become weak tahazanu sad so these two things being weak and being sad these two things they destroy a person and make him unproductive so please don't be sad don't always grieve because you will you and i will become unproductive when he doesn't have the drive and confidence to face the future and when he is stuck in the past so uh, you are unproductive allah says you don't need to feel sad because you are those who are superior wa antumul alauna you are those who are superior al alun is plural of ala ala ain lam waw uluf higher ain lam waw is uluf see the root word is in the word always the root words are in the word except uh, the weak words you know you won't find uh, but two of the letters you will find and you have to add waw waw alif ya somewhere waw so waw alif somewhere so uluf higher al alun is the plural of ala ain lam waw is ulu higher so you are still higher better you are still higher better one second one second please okay so you are still higher better so what if you failed once because they were failed in battle they were failed in a battle of ohad right and they were victorious in battle of badr so what if you failed once so it's a lesson for us also this is not the end of the world it doesn't mean that you will never be successful again so what lesson we learn wala tahinu wala tahazanu so do not become weak nor be sad you will be unproductive you won't be confident right uh, so uh, and there's a dua also sorry i forgot to show you on screen allah mein yaus bika min alhammi wal uzni wa uzni bika min al azzi wal kasli wal jubni there's a dua also right everybody knows that Uh, i think you we all have memorized those if you don't then memorize that okay so allah says you are still higher so what if you failed once this is not the end of the world it doesn't doesn't mean that you will never be successful again the muslim developed their this fear when the mushrikeen came and harm the muslim 70 of the companions of the prophet sallam the sahabas were killed in battle of earth some of them their bodies were uh, mutilated so it was a shock for them and sometimes that shatters your confidence but allah says you are still higher wa antumul alauna in kuntum mu'minin if you are a believer in kuntum mu'minin you are a believer you are still higher you are still higher you will be victorious allah will help you when uh, the wahan and huzun wala tahnu wala tahinu wala tahzanu so wahan and huzan is something which allah does not approve of weakness laziness lack of confidence this is something that allah does not approve of sadness depression is something that is not good for a person because he cannot move forward 
bad things happens in life we need to get over them know that you are strong a person can adopt different ways to get over the challenges my dear students challenges will be always there so a person can adopt different ways to get over the challenges therapy counseling or whatever helps but get over the problem so that you can move forward otherwise we won't be able to do anything in life a person should be determined and confident and not weak especially because he is a believer and you will suffer you know these tests will happen you will these tests will happen you know you will you will fail uh, you will be uh, you will be defeated like muslims were defeated in the battle of war if you have iman then have trust in allah subhanahu taala tawakkal allah in the quran it is mentioned is is allah not sufficient for his servant yes of course allah is sufficient sufficient for us a person should remember that a loss in this life or defeat or failure in this life is not ultimate failure a person should still have hope and should strive hard and do more so my dear student always have hope always strive no matter you are fail you are defeated you lost something so strive hard and do more and more okay have confident have tawakkal in allah don't feel weak don't feel sad okay as a human these feelings will come you will be weak you will be sad but you have to overcome them you have to read this ayah that allah doesn't approve of yeah you will be sad you will uh, uh be feel weak at a time things happens these sorts of thing happens that a person feels sad a person become weak you know uh, but you have to overcome that so okay so we see i love this ayah you know so much lessons to learn so uh, allah comforts the believers by saying wala tahinu so do not become weak because of what you suffered in battle of ohad okay you were defeated you were not victorious wala tahzanu nor be sad wa antum wa antum al alauna in kuntum mu'minin and you will be triumphant you will be victorious okay what is al alaun you will be a uh, victorious uh you will be triumphant your ranks will be elevated inshallah okay um you will be victorious um you will be triumphant um uh, nor be said you will be triumphant if you are indeed believers in kuntum mu'minin for surely the ultimate victory and triumph will be yours o believers this is what allah says and allah uh comforts the believers okay the next ayah uh, um the tafti the tafsir is uh, you know a lot so i think we should leave that and we'll conclude here inshallah okay inshallah we'll conclude here and we'll continue next time inshallah and i would love to take your reflections barakallahu fi ilmik wa malik wa rizqukum wa qatukum wa alakum wa malakum amin ya rabbal alamin جزاك الله خيرا كثيرا كثيرا سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين ربنا تقبل منا انك انت السميع العليم وتب علينا انك انت التواب الرحيم واخر دعوانا ان الحمد لله رب العالمين سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد ان لا اله الا انت نستغفرك ونتوب اليك السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته i would love to take your reflections but before that i'll say something because uh, i am in saudi arabia everybody knows that so uh, you know i'll be in mecca in ramadan i already went did umrah alhamdulillah so uh, i won't be able to uh, you know uh, do on next saturday and coming saturdays uh, or sundays um, so you know the rush and traffic in makkah and everything so coming back home i'll take time um, uh, to jeddah so we'll have a ramzan break inshallah and i'll put recordings you know of uh, surah al imran and al baqarah and you can do yourself also we have recordings on uh, youtube facebook uh, so we are in you know connected with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inshallah so we'll have a ramadan break i would i you know thought a you know, lot how to do but is you know 
uh, I won't be able to. Inshallah, it's a Ramadan break. Okay, who will be the first one? Yes, please. Assalamu alaikum. 